before I introduce the topic for this lesson, I want you to study this picture. There seems to be a feature that appears in various forms to compose the picture. Good. This is another picture I want you to study. Now make some attempt to identify that common feature I am looking for. Guess by now it's becoming clearer to you. That's a great attempt by you. I guess you are right. Everything in the pictures assumes one shape or another. Great. So in this lesson, we shall talk about shapes. In this lesson, I would like us to differentiate between 2D and 3D shapes. I'll also want us to give examples of 2D and 3D shapes. Good. Hope you are ready. Let's go. Now we have different shapes before us. What I want you to do is try and put them in two groups. Pause the video and perform this task on a sheet of paper using your own criteria. However you do it, you are right. But be ready to explain your criteria. Great work there. Now, let's move on. Great. I hope your work looks like this. Take a good look and compare it with yours. Wait. If it does not look like this, don't panic. As I told you, you have to defend your work. So your work may look like this or like this. This is the second grouping. Does it look like yours? Or, let me say, yours looks like it. Look at group A. And then, look at group B. Now, let's look at the two groupings. And let's agree on one grouping considering specific features that are common to each group. Now, we have the two groupings before us. One is at the left side of the broken line, while the other is at the right. Pair your work, which one is the right grouping? Good decision. Now, I am going for the second grouping, which is at the right side of the broken line. Hope you agree with me. I'll explain why. This is the group I chose. What I want us to understand by what we just did is that shapes can be grouped according to various or different criteria. But then we can look at shapes in general and put them into two big and basic groups. Now we have 2D shapes and 3D shapes or solids according to that kind of grouping. So we shall look at what 2D shapes are. First of all, the name 2D comes from the term two-dimensional. What it means is that 2D shapes have two dimensions. Dimension simply means the direction in which something is measured. It can be height, length, or width. In the case of 2D shapes, we can measure only the length and the width. Another feature about 2D shapes is that they are plane shapes. Plane shapes can only be drawn on flat surfaces. As a result, 
you can also call them flat shapes. Finally, 2D shapes have side and corners as their properties. The corner or the corners are usually referred to as vertices. A vertex for singular. Great. Hope you are learning something. Now I want you to look at some examples of 2D shapes. Examples of 2D shapes. We have circle, triangle, rectangle, square, oval, rhombus, parallelogram, trapezoid, pentagon, and hexagon. However, these are not all the 2D shapes that we have. Now let's turn our attention on 3D shapes. 3D shapes. We can best say 3D objects. This is because 3D shapes are about us and things we can feel, touch, hold and carry around us everywhere we go. 3D name was derived from three-dimensional. Remember what dimension is? Anyway, in the case of 3D objects, we have length, width, and height as their dimensions. Now, 3D shapes are also called solids because they are real objects. They occupy space. Finally, 3D objects have surfaces, edges, and corners. In most cases, 3D's surfaces are termed face or faces, while the corner is vertex. Let's give some examples of 3D shapes. Examples of 3D shapes may include sphere, cuboid, cube, cylinder, cone, square-based pyramid, tetrahedron, triangular prism, and hexagonal prism. Again, we have more 3D shapes than we have over here. I am sure that when you look at your environment in your home when you go to school at church outside home wherever you go you can find examples or many examples of 3d shapes good excellent it has been an exciting fun and active moment hope you liked the video Hit the like button and remember to subscribe to Active Learners channel for more lessons. Thanks for watching. See you again. Bye.